Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. Okay, so it says if a sequence is defined recursively, that means using every pattern or step before it um, to build the next step. So we use previous steps to build on. I'll show you what I mean in this problem. By f of 0 equals 2, so we know f of 0 equals 2, and we are then told in general, and I'll write this to the side, f of n plus 1 equals negative 2 times f of n plus 3 when n is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so here n, right, we're, we're using n values greater than or larger than 0, and we're also saying that we want to find f of 2. So in order to find f of 2, we have to build from f of 0, step by step, recursively. So I want to know what is f of 0 plus 1. So I started by plugging in, if this is my hint right here, all the n values larger than or equal to 0. So I plug that in, I plug in 0, that's the first value larger than or equal to 0. And look what happens. I get, I'm going to follow this formula, but let me move this formula, it's kind of in the way, sorry about this. Oops, this formula is cluttering up my potentially nice pattern here. I will put it right here. Okay. So what is f of 0 plus 1? So we're told n plus 1 equals negative 2. So I'm going to follow this formula, right? Negative 2. This means times f of n. Times f of n. So what was n here? n was 0. You see that? All right, we, we chose when n is 0. I'll write that here. n equals 0. Plus 3. So that what does that equal? Well, negative 2 times f of 0. We're told here f of 0 is 2. So it's negative 2 times 2 plus 3. So negative 4 plus 3, right? Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Now let's keep going. Now let's plug in n equals 1. So f of 1 plus 1. Right? What does that equal? Well, it really equals f of 2, right? And this, likewise before, that really equals f of 1. But here we have negative 2 times f of n. So n is 1, f of 1, plus 3. So what's f of 1? Well, that's what we just found before, right? Because f of 0 plus 1 is f of 1. And all of that work got us that's negative 1. So it's negative 2 times f of 1, which is negative 1, plus 3. Another way of thinking about it is that you see negative 2 times the value of the step before it, right? So this is set up so we always multiply negative 2 by the output from the previous step. And then we add 3 to it. So we have negative 2 times negative 1, that's 2, plus 3 is 5. And then finally, Oh, look at that. I just didn't even realize it. We already found it. Oops. Uh, this is f of 2. Right? We plug it in when n is 1. We get f of 1 plus 1. That's f of 2. And f of 2 equals 5. Our answer right here. All right. Hope this helped.